In this lesson, we begin developing our Flash project by creating a new document and setting up the stage. So here I am in Flash Professional CS6, and I'm presented with the welcome screen. I'm going to be creating a new Action Script 3 document here. So the document's now been created for us, and I'm going to go in and right away save this document. This will be 06 underscore one dot FLA. So I'll save that. So now I can just hit Control S or Command S on a Mac whenever I want to actually save this thing. I'm going to expand the timeline a bit. And there's a few things I want to set up in the timeline. One thing is that I want to create an actions layer, which is where any of our action script will go, and lock that down. That's going to allow me to work on this without worrying about actually putting anything within my actions layer. So let's click off the stage onto the work area here. And this will allow me to set up my document properties. So I'm going to be targeting Flash Player 11.2 using Action Script 3. And the frames per second 24 is just fine. For the stage size, I'm actually going to pull this back to about 350. And for the stage itself, I prefer a darker stage. So I'm going to make that happen through this color picker. So now that I have the document properties taken care of, I'm going to save quickly. And then the next thing I like to do when I'm setting up a project is to actually go into view here and toggle my rulers on. This allows me to see the placement of objects on the stage, and it will also allow me to drag out guides. So one of the first things I always do if I'm doing a project that's visual like this is to actually drag out one guide for each corner or each side of my actual project. This will just simply allow me to be able to position things a lot easier especially if I have snapping on, because if I have snapping on and I snap to guides, I'll be able to actually draw out things and my cursor will just snap to the bounds of the stage. So it'll just make things a little easier for me. So I'm gonna go back into view and grid, I don't care about so much. Guides, show guides, yes, okay. Lock guides. If I lock my guides, I won't be able to move them accidentally, so lock them. And then I'll go back into view and check my snapping. So we have snap align on, and snap align is going to help us align objects to one another by using snap. We have snap to grid, which I don't quite care too much about in this case, but I definitely want snap to guides on, as I mentioned. Snap to objects is fine, but I'm also going to snap to pixels. This will snap anything that I move to whole pixels. So especially when working with text, this gets around some issues of blurring. Because if you have text that's overlapping pixels or aligned to a half pixel, you can get some strange results. For this particular project, I know I'm going to have a basic background layer. So I'm gonna just set that up right now as part of my project. So I have a background layer. I'm gonna create a new layer, which is going to be a hill and then create another layer, which is going to be, I'll just call it player. And then I'll lock all these layers down and perform another save. So now that I have this all set up, my stage is to a point where I can actually start doing things with it. So this particular lesson has shown how to quickly go through and set up your stage for a project.